A few months ago, I was having a conversation with a guy who invested a lot of money into my business. My question to him was, why did you trust me enough to have invested such amount in my business? Now, let me give you some explanation to this story. He didn't know anything much about me, nor did I have any collateral for the money he invested in my business. He simply trusted who I was, even as a stranger. What marveled me was I wanted to know the reason why he would take such risk and invest such amount of money in my business two years ago. I'll use this story to show you the reason why you don't get other people to raise capital or support your business and show you what to do if you want to get others to invest in your business. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. How to get soldiers to the war Imagine yourself to be an army general with the duty of getting your guys to fight and risk their lives for you. What is the single most important skill you'll need to possess? Enthusiasm is the single most important skill you'll need to get men and women to risk their lives for your cause. You need to make them see how evil and weak the enemies are and also how powerful they are and most importantly, you need to let them see the rewards they get by fighting in your battle. The same thing is what happens when entrepreneurs try to raise capital for their businesses. You must act like a general and be able to show investors that the market is yours. You have to convince them with facts and stories how better you are than every other competitor. You have to be able to show them how much you've prepared and most importantly, what they stand to gain if they risk their money on you. If you fail to transfer your enthusiasm to them, you'll fail to get them to risk their money on you. My personal story In the year 2008, when I wanted to go fully into the business world, my elder brother told me that I can't succeed because our parents are poor and that was the fact. But I didn't want to believe the facts. I wanted to go with my gut and my gut was influenced by the books I've read years before that conversation. So it happened that I've studied to understand that there's something called that there's something called other people's money and since I understood that I could use other people's money to start a business, my only concern was to learn how to just do that. I started reading about negotiation, human relationship and a lot of other stuff like that. I started trying the strategies I learned from books and each time I made mistakes, I will adjust my strategy for another encounter. So in the year 2016, I had a business idea and I did not have the money to execute it. I then reached out to a guy I met on Facebook and told him about my business. For some of you who know that I don't use Facebook, this happened before I deleted my Facebook profile. We arranged a meeting and I showed him what my business is all about and how I was destined to win big through it. He decided to invest in my idea and he dropped more money than I initially expected, making him the biggest investor in my business till this day. Now, about two years after, I started thinking about that situation and I decided to ask him for the reason why he trusted me with his money, even though he didn't know where I live nor have any collateral for his money. His answer was this, my gut feelings convinced me to do it. Now, here's the thing, every human uses their emotions to make decisions. In fact, according to some studies, no human being can decide on anything without involving emotions. One thing you should know about emotions is that it's a feeling which is usually not based on fact or knowledge. Yes, smart investors try to look at facts and figures to make investment decisions but that is just after they have been won emotionally. Now, what happens here is that your enthusiasm is the weapon you can use to get other people to have positive emotions about your business idea. This is where most people get it wrong. Most people are simply not enthusiastic about their idea and it doesn't matter how loud you speak, people instinctively know if you're not genuinely enthusiastic about your idea. Now, the very first thing to do if you want to get people to invest in your business idea is to be enthusiastic about it. But this doesn't come naturally. Let me explain. Faith, actions and uniqueness in my experience are the three things that make people enthusiastic about their business idea. Let me try and explain these. The uniqueness of your idea you can't just be planning to start a business that every Joe and Jacob has been running since the year 2000 and expect that anyone in the world wants to invest into such business. The reason why investors want to invest in your idea of another restaurant or another social media site or just another anything is because investors know that when a product is not obviously unique, 
it can get customers' attraction and when customers cannot rush to buy what you sell, you probably won't make reasonable money because you won't be able to charge the amount your product deserves. So the first thing you have to do when trying to get people to invest in your business idea is to make sure that your idea is unique from everything in the market. Your fate. To make anyone believe in you enough to invest in your business, you have to show that you believe in yourself first. Again, this has to do with your enthusiasm and it's very important. If you don't believe in your idea, 1000%, nobody will believe in it, 50%. Your actions. Though the guy who invested heavily in my business didn't know where I lived, with what he knew about me, he knew that I am an actor. He knew that I stand up and run after whatever I want. More importantly is the fact that the business he invested in had been in the making about one and a half years before I asked him to invest in it. The problem with most people is that they have a business idea that they think can change the world, but they do nothing about it. You have a business idea and you're doing nothing about it? Or you want someone to risk his resources on you? <laughs> you're a comedian. Not doing anything about your business idea is a, is a piece of evidence that you don't believe in it. If you believe in that business idea, you'll figure out how to start in a little way. You'll go the extra mile and make crazy sacrifices for the business. You'll do hard labor if needs be and suffer some rejection. It's your story of struggles and actions that will motivate someone to invest in your idea. Then the facts. A lot of people who want to convince someone else to invest in their business go to them with facts and figures, as the facts and figures are the most important. Well, it is not. Yes, you have to know everything about the industry you want to compete in. You have to know who your biggest competitor is and what their weaknesses are. You have to know some numbers like what your cost of production is and what your profit margin is. You have to know how long it will take your investor to break even and what is likely to be the return on his investment. But more importantly than this is the fact that you have to know how to trigger people's emotions and make them fall in love with your idea. Again, here's the thing. To get people to invest in your business, you have to win them emotionally then convince them with facts. You must have a unique idea and you must have faith in that idea. You have to start pursuing that idea and show that you're willing to make great sacrifices for such an idea. Lastly, after you have done all these, don't forget that not everyone will still love your idea. So you'll be rejected many times. That you're rejected doesn't mean that something is wrong with your idea. If you believe in yourself and the idea, you'll not give up until you meet someone who believes in it as much as you do. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Do you love to start your day with high energy? Then we invite you to join our new channel which was designed to give you daily inspirational videos that will help you to become a high achiever. We call it Inspiration Tube. Look at the description box to join the Inspiration Tube. We love you.